Yes, he did a good job. He's got a lot of fans here. Come on, where's all the Stephen Lyons fans here tonight? Lyons, is there any positive in that you don't have to protect anything? You just got to go after it. There's no pressure on you because you, you just have to get after every chance. Um, I've done rushing, had to get back once again, so it's really easy, really nothing to drink. But how much of it is luck? I mean, the, the two incidents that took you out last night were really not usually a But when you got into Timmy Hutchins, it was probably difficult, but that earlier crash in your heat race, you had nothing to do with that. No, that's a big part of the race, obviously, yeah, man, Good luck to you as always. We're just getting Harvey, just keep the cockpit here, just show you a little bit of what's inside these things because it's very stuck. Just see there, the MSD, the ignition box, just there, that red unit just there. Up to the right, oil pressure gauge, water, temperature gauge as well. Taco there on the left, we keep some things. The other side is actually got his fuel tap down, if you just touch that fully lines in. Just there, that red little switch just there, so it turns the fuel on and off inside the car. And over to the left, you just put back a switch. His hydraulic wing ram as well. This is where he works the, the uh, height and the adjustment on the top wings. He can slide the top wing back all forwards and change the handling of the car. You don't like to do that too much, but if you have to, to help make that car stick down a little bit harder, it's a very, very good way to do it. Mighty in good touch as we have a look at heat number eight and Phil Locke. One of the most likeable cats in the game in the V4 starts from one. From two, it's the WA46 of West Australian Lee Nash. Position three, it's the Q75. Very cool looking car too, the KRE engine sponsor Q75 of Darren Jensen.